All right, the ad guide for today is I can compare decimals. Before we get started, let's look at real quick. This is one whole, this is one tenth, and this is one hundredth. So let's draw a number line. And we're gonna label it from zero to one tenth, okay? So nothing to one tenth, one tenth, right here. Now, I want you to think about what's the middle? If this is zero and this is one tenth, what would the middle be? What would the middle be? Kind of weird because it's one tenth, right? It's not one whole, it's one tenth. So the most logical way to think about this is look at this tenth and think about half of that. Now I can't literally break that, but I can grab out five individual hundredths, which is half, half of the tenth. So that's half, right? So if I bring them over here, and I count one, two, three, four, five, that would be five hundredths. And it should be easier to fill in the rest now. Not exactly perfectly spaced, but okay. So if this is zero, five hundredths, one-tenth, remember one-tenth is also equal to ten-hundredths. So now that should look a little bit easier, five-hundredths, ten-hundredths. This is one-hundredth, two-hundredths, three-hundredths, four-hundredths, five-hundredths, six-hundredths, seven-hundredths, eight-hundredths, and nine hundredths. So this is a great visual to see how the number line can be created using the hundredths and then the tenth or the hun or ten hundredths. Let's make one more number line to practice comparing decimals. All right, this number line is going to be a little bit longer, and we're going to go from zero to four tenths. Remember, four tenths is the same thing as 40 hundredths. All right, so let's represent that four tenths. And remember, if you're ever stuck on what the midway point should be, just think about half of the highest value. So what's half of 40 hundredths? Half of four is two. So here's my halfway point. So half of four tenths or 40 hundredths is two tenths or 20 hundredths. Okay, and then I know that half of that would be one tenth. And then over here between two and four tenths is three tenths. And in the middle of that, of each tenth, I can write down the hundredths. I'm not gonna fill out all of them for the entire um, number line. Like I'm not gonna go for each hundredth, but I do wanna go over some numbers and you can see how to plot them. So let's say we have in no particular order, three tenths, 27 hundredths, and 35 hundredths, okay? If I were to plot these, if I were to plot these, marker, three tenths, using the number line. I, that one's easy because it's right here, right? Three tenths, be right here. Then I have 27 hundredths, so 20, 25, 27 hundredths, right about here. Let me write it on top. And then I have 35 hundredths. 
So if you ever need to order decimals from least to greatest, a number line is a great um, tool to use because you can clearly see the relationship between the tenths and the hundredths.